Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. I'm finally getting around to one of those jobs I've been putting off for donkeys. It's these LED spotlights. I'm going to wire them up so as I can get three of them to replace some pretty rubbishy lights that I've got in the fish room. So, what my plan is, I've got these, these are 8 watt LEDs. Um, I've tested them out and they're plenty bright enough. I'm going to use them on tanks that I'm not really worried about growing plants or anything in. I just want to be able to see into them. And these are nice and discreet and I can angle them around a little bit and move them whatever way I want to do. I've got these from B&Q. These ones here. They're cheap as chips. I think they were £8 when I got them. So what are they? 600 lumens at 5000K. Um, and they're splash resistant. They're not water resistant. Um, but that should be plenty enough. But yes, so the first challenge is that this is how they come. So I need to do a little bit of soldering and um, add some extra cable so as I can wire them all up together. So I've got three of them because they go into three sections on that uh, racking and then I can get them mounted. So I won't bore you with that. I'll go away and do that. And in the magic of video, you can come back and see that. Right, we're all done. Um, now, don't judge me on my soldering or DIY skills. It's not like I call myself the king of DIY or anything. But we have three lights and a broken iPad. Um, all with different length cords. I have soldered each of the, the ends onto a longer piece of wire, which then goes into a junction box and wrapped everything with good old duct tape. So the plan is that these can then get mounted under here. So that's so one light in each section to replace these two. And then these two lights can go on to this one section there, one section there. And then this one light can go up there and take care of these tanks. So that's the plan. There's the lights. Let's go on and do it. Do you like my lighting brackets, by the way? You can tell I'm a big fan of duct tape. <laughs> Tape. So I'll show you another little trick that I use sometimes. So this light here, too low to the tank, I want to suspend it from there. And an easy way to do it is to make some little tabs, tabs even. So for example, if I take a strip of gaffer tape, fold it almost in half, have to be perfect. And then the sticky bit, I can wrap that round the, the mount as so. So you can see that pretty sturdy, it's not going to go anywhere. And then simply lift that up and screw that in up there. And I can set it to whatever height I want. Or even better, staple gun if you've got a decent one. So there we go, what do you think? I'm happy with it, that's as much as I'm going to say. I know I'm going to get slated in the comments for my slapdash attitude to cleanliness and neatness, but it's in, it's working. I've got the big lights up here for the tanks I actually want to be able to see. Really bright, really happy with that. This is my snail farm, it's just breeding snails for my puffer fish. Don't really care if they've got lights or not, so the fact that this is a little bit dimmer not all that bothered about and then up here I've got my guppies and another pleco breeding setup that I've just moved up into there. So I've got a decent light up there that I can see, a decent light down here, decent-ish that will help me grow the plants 
and then I've got the new LEDs up there. I'll probably do the same up here on this level. Uh, I need to get one more tank to fill in that gap, if you can see it back there. But that's that job done, uh, and I could probably now tell you about the new fish. On Friday, yeah, on Friday I went to a fish auction. It was the Esfas Sheaf Valley Aquarist Society, and they have an auction every now and again. It's the first one I've ever been to for that club, um, but they are my local fish club, so I don't know why I've never been to one before. I've been to a couple of the shows, but never to any of the auctions. Um, and it was great, yeah, I can wholeheartedly recommend it to anyone that's thinking of joining a club um, or going along to an auction. It's ridiculously cheap. Um, here's one of the guys that I picked up, was not planning it. Um, if anyone was ever going to ask me for advice, I'd say never buy a fish on impulse. But here we go, I've got a little Bashir, or Bashir, I think they were calling them. Um, I've heard them called all kinds of things over the years. Some more ridiculous than others, but I'm going to stick with Baisher, and so that's what you'll hear. I think it's a Senegalese, um, but it literally it came in a bag, it came in a bucket that said Baisher, and I, I had to leave early. I couldn't stay to the end. I was hoping that I would go and speak to the person that was selling it, and they could tell me exactly what it was. But I think it's a Senegalese. Um, but he's been in this tank a good few days now, and so well, two or three days now. Getting on fine, eating well, um, doing really well. But yeah, the auction, it was ridiculous. I'd done my homework in advance. I'd looked up, they posted online some of the rules and some of the fish that they were expecting to see there and some of the lots. And I had my eye on a few things. Um, I didn't get everything I wanted, but got a lot of stuff. Um, but it was like daylight robbery, but in reverse. Uh, over here. So this is the other, this is where I'm quarantining some more of the stuff. Um, Five cardinals, two pounds. Um, I've got four stairby corridoras down here somewhere, two pounds. <laughs> uh, two rainbow fish. I can never remember how to say this. Let me get the bag. They, they were one of the ones I actually did want um, because I, I'd been researching them a bit longer. So everything in this tank, I'm hoping to put in the discus tank eventually. And these rainbows can handle the heat uh, a bit better, which is why I wanted them. Unfortunately, they only had two. I'd like to have got a, a bigger group of them. But uh, can you see that? Melanotania splendidia rubristriatia. A pound, a pound, a pound. <laughs> Uh, it's ridiculous, yeah, um, so they've been in there a few days, everyone's eating fine, the stairby are tiny and the cardinals are tiny so they're going to have to stay in here a little bit longer and put on some weight before I think about moving them upstairs. Uh, and then down in the planted tank, another, well kind of impulse, I've been looking for these for a while, some threadfin rainbows, uh, I've got three packs of two and each pack was two pounds. So as well as that, I've got loads of other stuff. I've got some some pieces of bogwood. Um, I bought a few power heads and heaters and filters and things like that. They were all going dirt cheap, and everything so far works. Um, so yes, it was. I was. I knew it was going to be good value, but I didn't think it was going to be that good value. So if you're in the Sheffield or surrounding areas, definitely check out Sheaf Valley Aquarist Society. Um, yeah, it was just ridiculously cheap. We've got another show next month. Hopefully I shall be able to make that one as well. And might even take over some of my guppies here. Because um, there were some other things that came up there that was quite strange. So some of these things which I've been looking for and thought were really pricey in the past. I mean, those five guppies, uh, five cardinal tetras, for instance, for two pound. I think you can get six for 18 or something like that in pets at home. Like, that's ridiculous. But these ram horn snails, uh, a bag of five ram's horn snails went for something like £3.50. And I'm thinking, I grow them and feed them to my fish. I should be selling them at an auction. That's ridiculous. Um, cherry shrimp, a bag of five cherry shrimp that didn't even look that good. Um, I think they went for about £3 as well. And I've got, what, a million of them? So, yeah, hopefully I can take some stuff along to the auction, sell them in there. Uh, and make good use of them. Yeah, because this one's slightly different to the ones that I've been to before because 
you don't obviously it's not fishing tanks and things like that so everything's bagged up but maybe they did do this and I was just late getting there but I didn't get a chance to go and see what I was going on about so literally someone holds up a bag and says buy sure five pounds and you go well, I don't know if I want that is it any good is it good quality is it really ill looking is it all beat up so you are taking a bit of a punt that way so which is I guess is why it is a little bit cheaper or yeah, one of the reasons why it's a little bit cheaper and and they power through them so they might have had for instance uh, so I bought a bag of five cardinals they might have had five bags of five cardinals so if you buy one for two pounds and then they ask you how many you want so you can add them all if you want to um, I didn't quite catch that the first time round that it came um, but I saw some people got <laughs> not screwed over but someone had bid on possibly a pair of guppies and they had gone for three or four pounds and they said well I've got five bags how many do you want they just wanted one uh, so the next person got offered them and nobody else wanted any so they went back down to a pound or two pounds so the first person bid on them that actually wanted them paid a, a five or whatever it was the next person got them for a pound I was thinking hmm that's not quite fair so one of the, the ways that caught me out for instance was this, this piece of bogwood um, it went for a pound so I was like yeah why not I can never have too much bogwood so I stuck my hand up yeah I'll have that I'll have a pound so it's got three bits how many do you want and I said yeah I'll take all three the other two bits were about that size <laughs> but still it's only a pound so it's not the end of the world but a tiny little moan if, if it, it's not even a moan it was just it was exciting it was a great fun uh, it was a, a huge mix of people there was old young men women kids uh, everyone seemed to be enjoying themselves. It's a genius idea to hold it in a pub. So when you've had a couple of bites, the, a couple of pints, the inhibitions go away and you go, yeah, I'll have one of them. That's how I ended up with a buy show. Um, but everyone was really friendly. It was good fun. Everyone had a laugh. So if you haven't checked it out before, definitely look out for your local club and you can get loads of good information off them, meet some new people um, and get some great deals. Anyway. I've got a huge list of jobs to get through in here, so that's one done. I'll go on with the others and I'll say adieu now and I'll catch you next time. As always, if you haven't, click that subscribe button, it really helps me out and I'll see you next time. Bye!